leaves. Let's read. This was written by Amazing Facts. They give a little bit of fact and correlate it with biblical information. The verse for today is Matthew 18, 14. Even so, it is not the will of your Father which is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. It seems logical that if God is all-powerful, he must be responsible for everything that happens on our planet. But there is a missing piece we must overlook. We must... It seems logical that if God is all-powerful, he must be responsible for everything that happens on our planet. But there is a missing piece we must not overlook. Both good and evil exist in our world. There are flowers and thorns, fresh air and pollution, love and hatred. Why? The devil was once Lucifer, a being who stood by the throne of God. He became so jealous and began to spread rumors that God was selfish, controlling, and unjust. The accusations grew until Satan and a third of the angels were cast out of heaven. And they were cast to the earth. You can find that in Revelation 12, 7 and 9. Instead of immediately destroying the devil and creating confusion and fear in the hearts of all the other beings, the Lord allowed Satan to play out his idea before the watching universe. After Adam and Eve sinned, the world began to change. You can look that up in Genesis 3.17. The enemy was permitted to touch our planet and bring destruction through earthquakes, tornadoes, fires, and floods. As we come closer to the end of time, Jesus predicted these types of events will increase. You can find that in Matthew 24, 8. But God has not abandoned his people. When Jesus came, he brought healing and hope. The Son of Man did not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. Luke 9, 56. To questioning and blaming people, he once said, Many good works I have shown you from my Father. For which of those good works do you stone me? That's found in John 10, 32. Evil does not come because God is unfair. It often comes because God is pushed away, and many evils and troubles befall them, so that they will say in that day, Have not these evils come upon us because our God is not among us? Deuteronomy 3, 31, 17. Yet sometimes innocent people suffer in this world of sin. Calamity does not always come to sinful people. Jesus more than once corrected that false teaching in Luke 13, 1 to 5. Catastrophes will not last forever. Christ promises to come and put an end to all calamities. I, I thought that was a good reading because I've heard so many people say you know that hurricane hit there because God was ticked off at somebody or they were bad people or you know just any number of things but it's not God who's doing that I believe that Satan is causing these catastrophes and God has started lifting his hand it says in Revelation that he's lifting his hand to allow Satan to follow through with what he believes so that every every other person on this world and the angels and everybody will know that he's evil it isn't God that's doing it it's Satan keep that in mind in case you wanted to know uh, got my book peeps Good morning, Heavenly Father. I'm so grateful that you are there for us and that you watch over us and put your protection on us. I'm lifting up my peeps, Lord, the ones in the book and the ones that aren't in the book. Please wrap your love around them and help them to understand the catastrophes that happen. All this I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. That's it, peeps. I hope this finds you absolutely amazing. Stay blessed. Until next time. Hey, you made it to the end. Please hit like and subscribe and thanks for watching.